What's up, everybody? It's Chicago Talk Show host, and I'm here at Half Acre Brewing in Chicago. Half Acre Brewing has been my favorite brewery in the city for years now. They've been around for a long time. Ever since I had my first Daisy Cutter, I always knew that this place was the best. So let me tell you about it, and I'll show you what Half Acre is like on the inside. So before I got into craft brewing, I've always heard the name Half Acre. I remember moving into the city, living near Logan Square, and I was thinking to myself, you know what, I keep seeing all these craft brews, and you know, I'm so used to like drinking like Miller Lite and whatnot, and then I decided, you know what, I need to check out this craft brews and see what it's all about, because I feel like I'm missing out. And so I did, and right away, um, I heard the name Half Acre here and there, and I was a novice back then. I really didn't know anything about craft brews. But I did hear the name Half Acre. And so I made sure to try them out first. And I started out with the standard, the Daisy Cutter. And ever since then, I was like, oh yeah, I could definitely get into this. I immediately fell in love with the Half Acre brand and the aesthetic and the appeal. And I love that they're from Chicago. And that's awesome. Because, you know, we're the best. Hefaker is a longtime Chicago staple brewery, an OG of the craft brew world. They always have a great selection of rotating and seasonal releases that I look forward to every year, including my personal favorites of the Double Daisy Cutter and the Galactic Daisy Cutter. Those are awesome. So one of the things that also has appealed to me is the aesthetic of Half Acre. You know, it sort of stands out. How does a craft brew market their brand? You know, I pay attention to that sort of thing. Is it some sort of a demon? Is it some sort of an imp? Is it some sort of, a, I don't know, beach vibe? Is it something where it has to do with, you know, communist elements? Um, Half Acre has always resonated with me because the biggest theme that I pick up personally is nature. And I really like that. You know, as I get older and I get wiser, I like to think I get wiser, is the value of nature and connecting with it. A lot of their branding has to do with nature. Different kind of forest scenes. You've got a Yeti. Um, I just see a lot of like plants and trees and sunsets, the sun abstract kind of artwork. But it has to do with nature, and that's so cool, you know? And I think that helps them stand out, so I love them for that. Keep up the great job, Half Acre, with, with regards to your branding of nature. I mean, that's, that's really cool. You know, so what I mean by that, for me, connected with nature has to do with soaking up the sun, Camping, being outside, being outside with friends, fire, um, having a fire, right, and just chilling out. You know, no, no cell phones, no, no TV, just watching the fire, and just chilling out, and just talking to your friends. I mean, that's so cool. I, I've done some surfing before, and I got a chance to connect with the ocean. Um, that's something that hasn't ever gone away and deeply resonated with me. I love writing about waves and water. There's something about that element. Um, trees, right? Being around in the forest and hiking. You know, 
we're we're in the city of Chicago, and you know the city is with the city, and it has its good and its, and its bad. But there's something to be said about connecting with nature and being out, just being out there, just being out there wherever that is for you. Maybe for you it's the desert. Maybe for you it's the swamp and being amongst gators. But for me, it's a nice thick forest, and you know I may I may not dis I may not like the bugs, but being out with nature and being out with these big trees and camping and that's just the best for me it's and it's such a great revitalizer it's it's energizing you know you kick off your shoes and you walk on the ground right you stay grounded there's meaning there's 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 meaning behind that you know staying grounded when everybody is up high in the clouds you stay you stay here and you stay focused you stay Grounded. There's something to be said about that, right? When you think of being grounded, you know, the, the idea of being in some corporate office doesn't come to mind, right? The idea of being out in this grassy field, surrounded by nature, chilling out, there's a difference, right? And something else comes to mind, something primordial, something raw, something deep within us, something that's maybe lost within us. We're all, you know, because of all this technology and all this internet of things, right? But it can never hold up to what nature is because it's it's deep within us because it's been a part of us for so long. So, a little bit of a rant about nature, but I love it and I want more of it in my life. And you know, I wanna share something with you. I had a chance to talk to Tim, who was so kind in allowing me to do this review for Half Acre. And he was telling me about some of that inspiration because for me, quite frankly, I thought there was like a little bit of a psychedelic edge or nature to the, uh, to the overall aesthetic of Half Acre. And so I, I, that's, I, I, I let him know that that's, I kind of pick up that vibe. And he tells me, and I took some notes here, that some of their aesthetic has to do with things like 70s Kodachrome, Things like a 72 Toyota, which apparently had washed out colors. I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm not sure what the, of the car. I'm not a car guy. I mean, I am a car guy, but I'm not like a vintage, hardcore kind of car guy who knows all kinds of vintage cars. This aesthetic appeal that has to do with early 70s. This Bruce Brown character who is a director of, some, of a film called Endless Summer, which I'm going to check out. This sort of theme that has to do with a distortion of and a sort of attraction of colors on the fringe. So I thought that was really cool. A good. So he made it clear that it wasn't necessarily um, psychedelic per se, but um, something else. But um, you know, so I think that's way cool. So. Now, something that's really cool is they also have all kinds of weekly flights. So right now they have Pony, Hefeweizen, and IPA Yerwe, which is an India Pale Ale at 7.5 APV. They've got different kind of specials. I'm looking at their menu. So right now you can get a Michelada, you can get a Rattler, you can get a Shandy if you want. They've got coffee and tea. They've got a cider, which is uh, called Pedestrian by Eris. And they even have a non-alcoholic option which is called Upside Dawn, and it's a golden ale. One more time, an orchata root beer. I mean, that's so cool. So they got something for everyone. They also do different kind of collaborations, and it's really cool to see. One of them right now is, it's under the menu called Keeping Together. And for example, one of them is Creatures of Infinite Contradiction. I mean, how cool is that? It's a barrel-aged Saison, re-fermented with Cabernet Franc and Merlot grapes. I mean, how can you beat that? That's so cool. Speaking of collabs, we're gonna try now the watching the mind, watching the body. Prost, YouTube. Definitely a Sison. Refreshing. 
crisp, of course. I definitely taste that Michigan pear. That's what I was looking for, and I definitely taste it. It's chief among the flavors. This this is almost like a like a pear cider, except a beer, which is pretty cool. So that's exciting. I mean, check out this glass really quickly. You know, these little details like that. I mean, that's so cool. On our way to the bathroom, a little glimpse of their inside operation. There's the old John. It's huge back here. I mean, I can almost hear an echo. Awesome. So guys, really hope you enjoyed this, this tribute, this review of Half Faker, and that it's inspired you to come check them out. They're on Balmoro. Parking is street parking, pretty easy to get to, but I suspect during the weekends when it gets busy, very busy, especially when it's summer and the weather's out, you can bet this place is packed. They've got an outdoor patio. Right now it's a little bit... It's a little bit on the gloomy side because it did rain earlier. We had a little bit of a thunderstorm. But when, it's, when that sun's out, the people are out. And they definitely come here. One of, their fa one of the Chicago's favorite watering holes. Favorite, long time, craft brewing places. One of the OGs of Chicago, Half Acre. If you're in here visiting and you don't know, you've got a little bit of time to hang around Chicago and you're like, you know what, I want to check out a brewery. I don't know which one to check. You need to check out Half Acre, hands down. You know, there's but there's it, the city offers all kinds of options and all kinds of great local craft brews. But you want to go to the OG and you want to go to Half Acre. They've got a great gift shop too, so definitely check that out when you're out here. And as always, make sure you tell them Chicago Talk Show host sent you. <laughs>